Hi guys, it's me again, and this right here is the mounting bracket for a sun shield, and it got bent, so I straightened it out, and that caused a crack, so I'll be repairing it today by raising it using my propane torch and bronze filler rods. So I start out by heating the part red hot using my propane torch. This does require a lot of heat, so you will need a high output torch. I like my turbo torch SDK99 because it gets really hot fast and it's pretty well built. Now brazing is similar to regular soldering, like what you would do on a copper pipe, except for it's done at higher temperatures. The key difference is with soldering, you don't heat the filler rod, whereas with brazing, you want to use the torch flame to help melt the filler rod. And also brazing is done at much, much higher temperatures. You need to heat the steel to the point where it's glowing red, but not too hot where it's orange or white hot because it won't stick right if it's too hot. When it's red hot, the brazing filler should flow smoothly and it should be liquid, not clumpy. And also the flux does make a lot of smoke, so keep that in mind. So that took about five minutes of heating to repair, which is not bad. I mean, you get about an hour of runtime from a standard $3 propane cylinder it took about half of a brazing rod. So for this repair, I'm smoothing it out using my angle grinder and a flap disc, but for smaller parts, you'll want to use something smaller like a die grinder or even a hand file for tiny pieces. And this should be pretty straightforward, but you do have to be careful not to grind too much of the steel away. So here's the part after some grinding. It looks almost good as new. Now all it needs is just a quick coat of spray paint, which will be done prior to installing the sun shield. So this was a pretty easy repair. I haven't done that much bronze brazing before, but if you want to do this yourself, you need a high heat torch. None of those consumer torches will work. You will need a good one. I'm using the Turbo Torch STK99, which works pretty well for brazing smaller parts. If you're working on larger parts, you'll need oxyacetylene, but for small parts, you can definitely do it with a good propane torch as I've demonstrated here. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you did and see you all next time.